be down here working on my Jensen project in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I think this is actually called Mount Pleasant, a new studio, part of the Devon Street family. Um, and yeah, man, we're just down here having a great ass time. Jensen Project is his first project. Um, amazing kid, got great hair. I guess it's hereditary, and it's cool. It's cool looking, really, really cool looking. Yeah, great. Yeah, great. Black uh, my name is Miles Jensen. I'm a singer songwriter from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm saying it's you know what I mean? it's like real like. If anything is close to that, it would probably be something. From I am the kind of the least talented person in the room, um, which makes for lots of growth and uh, lots of challenges, and it's um, kind of exercise. You know what? <laughs> uh, kind of exercised uh, the limits of what I thought I could do. Um, so that's been kind of rewarding to like, push myself in a direction that I didn't think I could go before. So I want to I, I, I wanna do it in like E, though, like, but uh, like C sharp minor. Don't. Uh, I'm going to do it in E. through the camera. Let's <laughs> see how they do. Back, no back. Uh, so yeah. that's the first chord. And then the second is one, two, three. Yeah, so I'm going. So. You know, so uh, we've worked together before, um, and I always like, you know, with anybody I write with, I always like pushing the artist to be a little more daring, to, to kind of step just a little bit, a little bit outside the box. I kind of want one foot in, one foot out. You know. <laughs> Action. 
What you need first? <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> We brought Miles down, 11th Street Studios artist. Uh, this is an extension of 11th Street Studios, but it's going to maintain the name Charleston Sound, super dope studio. Uh, plenty of gear to choose from. Um, awesome vibe. And then the energy in this building in between the guys is crazy. We got Tario, we got JB, we got Al Jamal, we got Elvis. Steve's here, you know, checking us out, vibing with us. Got Felly, got Dev behind the camera right now. I mean, we got the whole crew with us, so we're really going in. We're gonna go with it. Let's get fucking going go with it. Charleston these last couple days working on Miles has been amazing. Miles has been amazing. Um, we got a lot of great records. Um, the energy in Charleston is it's a little bit more pleasant. It brings something more natural out of you being outside of Atlanta without all the, you know, the fancy sounds and the VSTs. Um, we really kind of went back to what music is on this, you know, on these last records, you know, the straight baby grand piano, real drums, Hammond organ, um, real guitars, you know, back to the original instrumentation, back, back to the nature of what music really is. Has got us living in deceit. People lie and sleep because they think that days repeat. If they only understood just how a billion dollars is cheap. Cause when you're buried underneath, no the money can compete. No, it doesn't matter. kind of just me writing songs by myself um which you know it got it like you can only explore so much when you do it in like a solitary way so working with someone that kind of has a completely different wheelhouse oh let me just give out i know the keys over here somewhere <laughs> this motherfucker cries <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, again you just have to do you want to sit down no i'm very long thanks yeah, uh, working with Belly uh, is, again, like, kind of expanding my wheelhouse. I've learned a lot from him. Um, he's super talented, and uh, I think it kind of, like, there's, like, that phrase, like, uh, you know, and that's kind of the way it feels. Like, every time I walk 
walk out of the session. Mm -hmm. I had like more things I know I can do now. It was fun, man. You know, I, I, I love pushing the artists that I work with to new vocal heights. You know, he's expanding his range, and uh, it was good to have the trust um, that we've built through working together for him to be able to allow me to push him to do that. Okay. Let's do the other one. We got to get the vocals. Let's go. Why is all this said preset now? Because you changed the... Blade of Ginzu has been bestowed upon us. <laughs> Blade of Ginzu has been bestowed upon us. <laughs> hey, I wrote it, but... Bestowed upon us! The Blade of Ginzu! Um, Miles is one of those talents that he has a lot of blues in him. And he has a lot of like Otis Redding and uh, Sam Cooke. Uh, I feel a lot of uh, Phil Collins and what he does. Um, so bringing him into what this world is means that we're able to bridge sonically soul and pop and eclectic sounds to create one artist. Like I was, I've been humming it, and like it's not out of my range, but like it's gonna sound strained if I do it right now. You know what I mean? Like I want to like like run through it like repeatedly. So like it's not like I don't want it to sound strained when I'm singing it. You want to get it in your soul? Yeah, like I just don't want it to sound like I'm like pushing. You want to learn it? But 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 I kind of do want it to sound like you push. Well, I want there to be like feeling behind it. Right. But I don't want it to sound like he's reaching for something he doesn't like have. Like, right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause, cause, cause the idea is this to get you out of the norm of what you're kind of sure. used to. You know what I'm saying? Like resorting to. Yeah. Because that brings a different type of feeling and element to your voice. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. Yeah. Um, so I want to really, really push and really, really, you know what I'm saying? Push hard. So that because a song like this, it's fucking journey. It's fucking. Um, imagine like all that, all that shit where you just sitting up there fucking going ham and bitches falling out. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though you talk about time, it's just the, it's just the shit. You know what I'm saying? Anthem. It's an anthem. All your shit that you be like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Last the marriage. I've used 150,000 people. Yeah. Miles is killing the records. We're definitely taking him out of his comfort zone. We're taking him out of his comfort zone. He's used to, you know, sitting down, playing the piano on his own. He used to singing, you know, that whole Frank Sinatra, which is fucking amazing, by the way. But I wanted to kind of stretch him a little bit um, and make him reach levels that he's never thought that he could actually reach. He's in the booth right now, grabbing his nuts, trying to hit a note. Normally, he would just be... Uh, but we got him really, really What's he gonna do now? Tell us he gonna do now. What's the number he gonna do now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> grabbing this nut, trying to get that note right. <laughs> Yes. 
expressing you know, the feeling throughout a record. You know, when myself and Elvis and Al Jeezy and Tario, we get together and, you know, start a production. And then Philly comes in and write it and engineers, like there has to be a certain, a certain dynamic, a certain tone, a certain wavelength that everyone is on. And, and Miles does a great job of expressing that through his voice. For reasons that I can't explain, yes, I'm running to find my way.